now it is the quiz time so i want you to quickly tell me identify the pathognomonic feature and uh, punch into the chat window can you go to the next uh, ppt yeah so i am very happy to see 136 students active energetic please don't forget download you medico make your friends also to download you medico and play as many quizzes as possible the more you play the more we will be uh, the more we will be knowing where you are all missing so that's the reason you need to play <clears throat> um, yeah so let's start the game i'll quickly give you the image spotters for the exam need pg you have to give me one quick buzzword answer punched into the chat window so let's start the game these lesions are called actinitic keratosis what will actinitic keratosis predispose to it's your time doc please punch into the chat window what is the condition to which actinitic keratosis very good shah huzafi is absolutely right squamous cell carcinoma it precedes squamous cell carcinoma albuminocytologic dissociation you heard of this right what is the immediate condition you remember to which it is pathognomonic of where unlike in meningitis where your cell count also increases along with albumin it doesn't happen so what is that condition where you find albuminocytologic dissociation very good the hemophilus vicus everyone says gb syndrome where there is increase in protein in csf with uh, only a moderate increase in cell count you are seeing this mri you should be very active and punch it very fast right there is an atrophy of the mammillary bodies this is pathognomonic of which important uh, condition fast count banega pg pati let us look computer mahashay what is your answer abhishek and everyone are still slow hemophilus is saying algemes no not algemes come on quick answer please yes kundan takur is gulnbari old answer uh, very good kundan takur pravin kumar puli and uh, graselin vinio it is a vernikis and kapalopathy where the mammillary body um, atrophy is considered to be the pathognomonic feature okay linear anti basement membrane antibodies you are seeing the immunofluorescence here now you should tell me what is it pathognomonic in which condition do you find them should the answer should the answer in which case chandrakant says sle shah huzafi is saying dermatitis herpetiformis and uh, dipali sharma is saying iga nephropathy praveen kumar is saying bullus pemphigoid graceline is saying good posture give a big clap to graceline that's right graceline is our future uh, nephrologist very good very good very good now anti centromere antibody come on shoot it what is it pathognomonic what you are seeing is a anti centromere antibody what is your answer amin farooq uh, they are all punching the world question i think please mention the question number 5 and punch your answer that become easy for me to check shivam sharma uh, anket is saying scleroderma bhuvanesh sharma is saying uh, gp abhishek mohanty is saying crest syndrome and uh, jogrens is another answer from akanksha agarwal and uh, etc etc very good scleroderma and crest you have to remember now question number 6 anti double stranded dna antibody 
where do you find? I think this is the cheapest question in the planet. Question number 6, mark it as 6 and answer. Please punch your answer along with the number. Very good. Please punch your answer along with the number. Excellent. SLE, which is a type 3 type of hypersensitivity. Don't forget, favorite question of examiner. Anti-epithelial cell antibody you are seeing here, where the direct immunofluorescence is showing intracellular deposition of the antibodies in the stratum spinosum, anti-epithelial cell antibody, where do you find this classically? Come on doctor, punch your answer, punch your answer, 141 students online, I am very happy, send a message to your friends to visit YouTube dot com slash online mbbs they can still participate in the national fight and debate for NEET PG yeah every evening we will have a quick quiz to activate your energy after this session what are you going to do have your dinner have a cup of tea have a evening walk and then come and finish five six topics in the high yield topics before you go to sleep that is what I want to add a energy to you. Come on, what is your answer? Very good. Pushpa and uh, Bhaswati, Upasana. Upasana says SLE, but the answer is Pemphigus vulgaris. Not Bullus Pemphigoid, Pemphigus vulgaris. Anti-gliadin antibody which you are seeing here. Easy question. Question number 8. Use 8 and punch your answer. Yes. Where do you find the... Uh, the anti-gliadin antibody, very good. Shah Khuzafi and Amir Farooq, you are all right. It is the celiac sprue. Antihistone antibodies, question number 9. Where do you classically find antihistone antibodies? Come on, punch your answer, Doc. Question number 9. Quick answer, quick answer. Antihistone antibodies. Very good. Um, yes. Kuzafi is saying drug SLE, drug induced SLE. Very good, very good. Praneen. Pranahit Reddy is saying discoid lupus. Very good. Most of you are saying drug induced SLE, which is the correct answer. Then, anti IgG antibody. In which connective tissue disorder you find the anti-IgG antibody where uh, IgM, IgM antibodies are produced against the IgG, anti-IgG antibody. So in which connective tissue disorder do you find them? Question number 10. Come on. Easy question. Very easy question. The IgM body antibodies against the IgG. Where do you find? Very good. Praveen Kumar, Amir Farooq, everyone is right. It is rheumatoid arthritis. Anti-mitochondrial antibodies that you are seeing here. Where do you find? Should your answer? Question number 11. Anti-mitochondrial. A middle-aged woman comes with pruritis. She has got a significant jaundice. Come on, what is your answer? Right? Amir Farooq is saying primary sclerosing cholangitis. No. Come on. Then very good. Chandru is saying primary biliary cirrhosis. Right. Yes. Very good. Uh, once more see. You will. Don't confuse between primary sclerosing cholangitis and primary biliary cirrhosis. That is a common wrong firing of the bullet in the exam. That's, a, that's what I want to caution you. The questions are simple. Answers be, should not be complex. Primary biliary cirrhosis. Very good. Very good. All the guys, Pushpa, Anket, everyone who answered PBS, PBC, primary biliary.